Hi guys, I'm Karen Green from The Reading Corner. So if you are following on our website, you probably have gotten on the website and seen that we have tons of stuff. So my goal this year is to walk you through each week just like I'm doing. I'm teaching a four-year classroom in my school and I want to show you what I would recommend for early preschool and preschool. So if you're like me, you're probably getting your classroom ready. Um, I tend to keep my classroom pretty empty. I feel like the walls and everything that is in the classroom is intended to be done with and by the kids. So what I am doing is just putting up the simple things. And so what this is called is a classroom prep bundle. So if you go into the KG's, KG's picks of the week, um, this is what's going to be on there. The first thing we have is our alphabet chart. So as you know, if, as you notice, it is real pictures. It's small. I prefer to have my alphabet chart, chart go in one linear line instead of sometimes when you don't have enough space, it ends up going on two lines. I don't know why. I just feel like kids need to see that the alphabet is one um, like unit. So that's why we made our alphabet chart a little bit smaller. So if you have a smaller space that you can put that on there. Um, I put it at eye level and then as the weeks go on, we're adding kids' names to it, we're adding big words that the kids are wanting to see, some of the vocabulary words that we might be using in math, things like that. So that's part of our, um, our bundle, um, part of the classroom bundle. I also have my color chart, so my color cards. So we really want to make sure that they are simple. Um, I put these in my morning meeting area as well. What I typically do is I have my ABC chart uh, going one way and then I typically put my shapes and my colors going long, the long way. Again, just like anything, our word wall, our ABC chart, if we're not referring to it and using it, the kids won't. So if I'm reading a book and I see I come across a color word, I'm gonna go, oh, I've seen that color word somewhere in our classroom. Have you seen that word? And so they get used to using those as a resource. So it's got our color words in it. Um, we've got shapes. So we've got two different kinds of shapes. We've got these and then we've got these. These ones are just obviously a little bit bigger. Um, I needed ones that were a little bit smaller for my classroom for them to fit where I needed them to. So um, we have two different, two different options. So again, I just have those in there. I refer to those. Um, we might play little games really quickly. Uh, if we have like five minutes, um, I might say, I'm looking for the letter that um, starts with the um, that makes the b sound. And so they're gonna go up to the alphabet chart and they're gonna find it. Or I'm looking for the shape that's yellow. Can you go up to the, the um, chart and find the shape that's yellow? So I'm gonna play little games with our like resources um, when we have a chance, just again, so they see those and they're actually using them. We have a couple different number lines. This is the one we use in our toddler classroom because obviously they're a little bit bigger and I'm only going one through 10 and I've got those little buttons that go with it. So this is the one we're using in like our twos, maybe our threes. This is the one I'm using in my four-year-old classroom. So it's all, it's going all the way up to 20. Right now I have just one through 15, but I always use the same formation for our five. So our five always looks like this. Our four always looks like this. So it helps with that automa automaticity, meaning when a child sees this, they uh, get to the point where they don't have to count the dots. They can honestly automatically say that's the number four. And then we do have a number line that looks like this. And this is more for a kindergarten classroom. It's just having um, different shapes that show where our even numbers are, our odd numbers are, and of course it's gonna go up to 20. And so this one is your true number line. So I will probably put this in my classroom mid-year, but right now I'm gonna be using these. Um, and then we do have a lot of different classroom jobs, um, uh, like your schedule, things like that. So if you wanna use things to kinda help your child see how your day is progressing, like. We start with calendar and then we go into our morning work and then we go, we're going to have snack and then we're going to go outside or have recess. So some of the verbiage is more of a classroom setting. Um, when you see this video, I will have ones that have more of like a homeschool because you're not going to go to recess. You might just go play outside um, or you're not going to maybe go to music. You're going to have music time or you know, you're not going to do morning.
morning work, you might have your morning basket. So those kind of that kind of language and vocabulary will be on there. The other thing that I added to our classroom prep is our calendar. So I love our calendar because um, I put the colors in odd and even numbers, but I also put, it's really important for me to have accountability on um, practicing counting and phonemic awareness and things like that. So I put just a little thing on every single number so that you can have something that's gonna kind of give you accountability to practice something really quick. So for the first day it says, I'm gonna say some words, let's see how many syllables are in them. On day two it says, can you spot numbers around our classroom? Number three says, can you spot words around our classrooms? Um, day eight says, what's this word? Hair, brush. So I just kind of mingled in some counting, some syllables, some phonetic awareness, some phonics. So it just keeps me accountable for those things. So you've got your word wall, you've got your shapes, you've got your number line, you've got your alphabet chart, you've got your calendar. I wanted to put all of this together for you because this is what I'm using to get my classroom ready and I wanted to make that accessible to you. So. If you go into Karen Green or KG's weekly picks, this is gonna be the very first PDF. It's called Classroom Prep. Print it, download it. Um, make sure you're picking the pieces that you want. I put everything in there so that you could decide what you wanna use. So I hope that helps.